Hello everyone, it is Hillary here with Creative Faith and I am working in my hymnal today. I haven't done one of these videos since Christmas time and I'm really excited to um, share what I am creating and how I'm using this hymnal. I will put a um, link in the description below to my other hymnal journaling video from December. And so I am working in the Lutheran hymnal and I'm working on the page for the song, Almighty God, I Humbly Ask. And I use this hymn, I talk about this hymn in my Creative Faith Cuttable called Release Love. And it is all about um, how to release love into the world and what that means and how God calls us to do that. And this little girl holding these really pretty heart-shaped balloons is kind of the key image to this um, devotion kit. I printed out some of the elements on clear sticker paper and I was really kind of playing and messing around with which elements I wanted to use. I thought about using the globe that has a bunch of hearts on it. Um, I really liked this go and do phrase. Um, so just kind of messing around with um, some of the different printables. And today I'm going to be using a stencil. Lindsay, I will um, link her channel below, she recently posted a video using stencils and it kind of inspired me. I recently got these Distress Oxide markers as a birthday present. Thank you to my sister. <laughs> um, I had been, I had my eye on them, but they're a little spendy for me. And so um, she had asked, what can I get you for your birthday? And so I suggested these. And so it's been fun to kind of play and mess around with them and kind of learn how to use the distress oxides. I've been following Marissa, who's Be Saved by Grace on Instagram, and she posts a lot of tutorials and ideas too. And so I'm just using the distress oxides with a little brush and putting it down as a background. I'm not looking for it to be a perfect stencil. I just was wanting um, to get a fun pattern and some color down. I really loved the arrows because the story behind the release love kit is kind of all about these heart balloons and you know what I would have what would have happened if I had accidentally let them go when I was carrying them and you know what what it means to release love into the world and so I liked the arrow stencil because it kind of goes along with um, sending things up and out. I am using some handmade watercolors. They're from an Etsy shop called Designs by Rachel Beth. And I never played with handmade watercolors before until I got hers and I love them. This is a set called Wild and Free. And so it came with five different colors and she has free shipping and so it was really um, fun to find her Etsy store and so definitely check that out and so I used a rose gold shimmery watercolor as the background for the rest of the hymnal page and so the kind of blues and pinks were the theme colors for this page and for this set. One of the pieces of the set is this tip-in that has the lyrics to the hymn, Almighty God, I Humbly Ask. And since I was kind of covering some of the lyrics, I wanted to include this on the page. The um, paper was also a birthday gift from my boss, Dana. So thank you, Dana. She knows me really well. <laughs> and I got the prettiest um, scrapbooking paper sets that I've been using in my Bible and hymnal and journaling. And the colors on one of the sets also match the Release Love Creative Faith Cuttable. And so I use that to mount the lyrics. And um, to me, this hymn really spoke to me because of the lyrics. I was just flipping through the hymnal, looking at different hymns. I had never heard of this one before. And I don't really know anything about this hymn. I tried Googling the story behind it and the author and really nothing came up. And so it's kind of a mysterious hymn to me. So if you know anything about it, add it in the description below. But I just, the lyrics really spoke to me. 
Um, I am using, this is a washi strip from, I believe it's the Illustrated Faith Love Collection. And my friend Gail sent me some happy mail, Valentine's happy mail. And so I really liked the black strip. And a lot of the times I'll like try and save things that people give me and not use them. And I've been trying to actually use things because it's not good to just hoard it and save it for like some special day. <laughs> she, Gail, also included this little red tab that I'm playing with, which is the exact same red from the kit. And she also included these documented Faith Alphabet Letter stickers that I love. They are a great size and you'll see kind of how I use them on this page. Um, so I was playing around with where to put the tab and I finally decided on the tip in. So it's kind of sticking out from the top of the page, but it's also on the tip in. And I kind of thought I could maybe add some more tabs, but... I wasn't sure. <laughs> so I ended up just putting the one down. Um, so some of the lyrics that just really spoke to me from this hymn is talking about kind of asking God to help us, help guide us in our daily tasks. And the story from the Bible that is connected with this creative faith cuttable is the story of the Good Samaritan, which is all about, you know, going and doing and spreading love to our neighbors. And so I just thought it connected really well with the lyrics. And so it says, Almighty God, I humbly ask that I may know my daily task to do thy holy will. And just having that kind of be our prayer that, you know, God guide and direct us every day to know how we are supposed to go about releasing love into the world and with our neighbors. Um, and so just really making that our sincerest prayer. So included in the Creative Faith Cuttable, you get this strip full of little words and phrases and verses, and I love writing out and journaling my prayers, and so I am pulling out this one that says my prayer, and this other one that says amen, amen, and so you'll kind of see how I use those, and along with the clear stickers to write out my prayer based on this hymn and the story of the Good Samaritan. But I also love um, one of the lyrics is um, that this holy thought inspire my heart. Thou Father sendest, sendest, sendest me. And so that's what I end up writing out for my prayer. And so I just really encourage you guys to um, Google this hymn if you've never heard it before and read through the lyrics. And I'd love to hear in the comments below, like which lyric from this hymn spoke to you the most. So be sure to um, head to my Etsy page, my Etsy shop, <laughs> and check out this Creative Faith Cuttable. It's a downloadable kit, and I'd love to have you join us in journaling and pondering more about releasing love into the world. Be sure to subscribe to the Creative Faith YouTube channel for more Bible journaling and hymnal process videos. And um, give this video a thumbs up so they know that it was encouraging and that you liked it. And um, I just pray that you would be encouraged and know that you are so loved by the Lord. Have an awesome day. Bye.